experiment in which first we add sodium carbonate to the flask, two tablespoons, then few drops of ammonia to it, and by adding concentrated HCl, it will produce smoke. In this reaction, NaCl salt.
it is based on the principle of EMI called electromagnetic induction. In our project, we one side I have a power plant and on the other side we have a city. And in the power plant, we are supplying a DC voltage and we have used a transistor which converts the DC voltage into AC current. And we have also used a resistor of 27k ohms which prevents the transistor from overheating and stop working. Here in the power plant, we are supplying a DC voltage and we have used a transistor which converts the DC voltage into AC current. And we have also used a 27k ohm resistance which prevents the transistor from overheating and stop working. And here the main component is the copper coil which is of 27 gauge and 40 tons which is the main component for the induction of electricity. Here, because of the AC current, there is a uh, change in the magnetic flux producing these two coils. And, these, and the flux from these two coils linked with another two coils and due to the change in the flux of both the coils an electricity is induced and from which the current is passing again. Yeah. Sneha Jadeja from 11 Science and today my project is XSIQ. This model consists of electronic door lock system which uses RFID technology. RFID means radio frequency identification. This project is combination of Arduino board and RFID system. It uses RFID card instead of traditional keys. We all know traditional keys can be lost, stolen or even duplicated. To solve this problem, we have used RFID technology. This model consists of an Arduino board, RFID reader mod. This system consists of an Arduino board, RFID card module and reader and servo motor. We are using here in this project. This is an Arduino board, it is a servo motor and it is an RFID reader module. It works like when a person brings RFID card near the reader module, it sends card's unique ID to the Arduino. Then Arduino checks whether the ID is authorized or not. If the ID is authorized, the system allows access and the door opens. If this, the ID does not match, the door remains locked. This is an incorrect pin, so door won't open. This is incorrect pin. When we access this pin, the door will remain closed. When we access this correct pin, door will be uh, door will automatically open for five seconds. 